In this strategy, we will be using 47 assets from different fields such as technology, finance, energy, and others. We will backtest our system using this diversified portfolio, and I will show you how this approach of trading can achieve positive results with minimal drawdown. The purpose is to prioritize safe trading, minimizing risk and drawdown, even though this would slightly decrease our returns. These results were obtained on 1,954 trades and around 10 years of historical data. The the strategy is very simple. We will apply a first filter using long period moving average like 150 or a 200 moving average curves. We will only select assets with confirmed uptrend where candles are above the moving average. Since this strategy is a long only strategy, so we trade only in one direction. Once we identify uptrend tradable assets, we apply a sliding window of let's say 90 days on all the selected assets. The number of days can be changed for different backtests depending on how you want to approach this strategy. We will rank the assets by decreasing volatility during this period. So for example, we can select the top five lowest volatility assets. Why? Because we want to trade safe, safe assets, not going through bumpy periods or high volatility conditions. Once we selected low volatility, negligible, tradable assets, we will apply one last filter using the VIX, which must be lower than a threshold, for example, let's say less than 30, which will confirm smooth market movements. And this is it. Once all these conditions are verified, we buy the uh, top selected assets and we can keep the trades opened for a few months. We exit the trades after the investment period that is usually longer than three months at least. Or we can also exit a trade if the loss is above 10%. Now, this whole testing and filtering using the moving average and volatility ranking is done every day, meaning for each candle on daily time frame to check if a new trade can be opened. But we will also allow one open trade at a time per asset. We can have parallel trades, but they will be on different assets. This strategy is simple and its main purpose is to keep the risk as low as possible for us to invest or trade over a long period of time. Now let's see the Python code, the backtesting, and of course the results. So this is our Jupyter Notebook file. I'm using Yfinance, Pandas, NumPy, and backtesting to backtest the strategy. Yfinance is mainly to get the data. Now in this list, tickers, we're going to define all the assets, the symbols taken by Y Finance that we want to trade or to include in our testing, simply as that. The start and the end period of our testing. So I'm taking 10 years of data here, 2015 up to 2025. Then we get the prices, we get the VIX as well. Notice I'm only taking the closing prices because this is all we need for the uh, for this type of strategy. So the length of tickers is 47. After download, I'm just checking that everything was downloaded properly from Y Finance. And this is where the uh, magic numbers are defined. So these are the strategy parameters. The volatility window is set to 90 days for now. The moving average window is 150. Maximum positions allowed is five. So number of assets, let's say held is five, top five assets. Again, as a reminder, we're checking the top five least volatile assets to be traded. Then we have the stop loss percentage, so that's 10% for now. The VIX threshold is set to 25. We don't trade anything if the VIX is above 25 because this is an indicator of kind of a higher volatility on the market. And then we have the maximum holding days, that's 90 days. So if we have a trade that wasn't stopped, wasn't closed by the stop loss, the 10% threshold, we're going to keep it maximum 90 days and then we close it. In my opinion, this strategy can be improved taking into account the exit approach. So for example, instead of just putting a stop loss of 10% and the maximum holding days of 90 days, we could as well exit the uh, trade or close the trades if the candles drop below the moving average, since this is a long only strategy. So when the candles are trading below the uh, moving average curve, it probably means that the up momentum is inverted and probably we're going for a small retracement or a correction or even a downtrend. Now we can compute the indicators. We have the daily returns. So that's the uh, percent change of the prices. We have the annual volatility. So we're taking the daily returns, a rolling uh, window of 90 days. So that's where we're going to compute the uh, volatility. So that's the, uh, we take the standard deviation 
times the uh, square root 252 days so that's the annualized standard deviation so this is a classic way of computing an indicator of the volatility of the market then we have the trend moving average so that's the uh, moving average and then we define this function named pick low volatility assets it takes all the parameters that we need so the price row the volatility row the moving average row maximum positions and in other words the maximum number of assets to be picked so we're going to pick the top n assets based on the lowest volatility so first we need to filter the assets that are in an uptrend then we rank these based on uh, the volatility so the volatility row then we uh, select a small part the n part of these five top assets by volatility and then we will return the uh, rows actually where these conditions are uh, verified for each of the assets the reason we're doing this uh, this way is because through the 10 years of data it's not going to be the same top five assets let's say by ranking by volatility ranking maybe these will change and this is how we're going through time through the rows we're going to select the rows that are tradable depending on the time index so this is what it does this function does it all it selects every three months for example every 90 days which are the rows that we're going to be trading during this period and then we just call the function we build a new data frame with the signals that are generated using this approach so just to make it easier to understand what this cell does I'm going to print here the signals data frame that we uh, just generated and as you can see we have the date as an index and we have the different assets and then you have those boolean results so true or false notice that you have five uh, by volatility ranking so these are the smallest the lowest volatility assets actually they qualified for trading for investment for the coming 90 days then this might change with time and just to verify that all the assets are getting some trading signals i'm checking here the uh, number of signals per asset so we can see this asset got 1488 trading signals through values and so on uh, we can see the um, qcom zero some of the assets they got zero because they didn't rank well versus the other assets and now we can backtest the strategy using backtesting package um defining a new class signal follower inheriting from strategy then we have the parameters number of uh, maximum simultaneous positions so that's five if i recap correctly the stop percentage that's 10 percent the vix level it's set to 25 so far in this code maximum holding is probably 90 days we define the next function and this is where we're putting our conditions the exit uh, conditions we have something similar to a uh, stop loss testing for any open trades and checking if the trade so far lost more than 10 percent in which case we will close it and here we exit the trade if it's more than 90 days for now so that's the maximum holding a number of days now for the entry we check for the signal we check for the vix level and if all conditions are correct so if we have a signal trading signal and we don't have any open position currently any open trades and also the vix is below the threshold then we will open a trade one trade per asset if you take a look here the allocated cash for one trade is equal to whatever cash we have now in the account divided by the number of slots the number of simultaneous uh, positions maximum positions so if i'm allowing this code to open five positions simultaneously on five different assets for each of these it's going to be whatever cash i have divided by five which makes sense this way we can aggregate the results at the end to get a total return so i'm not trading with all my cash account i'm trading with the cash account divided by five so i have enough money to trade the uh, number of slots or the number of trades we transform this uh, cash into shares and then if we don't have enough shares we return nothing so we're not going to trade and otherwise we can buy and the size is equal to the number of shares and the entry bar index is saved so it's the uh, self dot bar underscore clock so this way we can compute for each trade how many days it's being opened now this part also closes trades uh, opened on a particular asset if this asset becomes volatile so if the asset is not in signal anymore so it doesn't uh, obey to the conditions of uptrend above the moving average and uh, within the threshold of volatility and we do have a position there 
then we're going to close these positions and then we reset the entry bar index. Now this part, you might want to comment it, experiment on it. When do you want to close those uh, positions? Probably maybe when the 90 days are uh, closed, even though these are uh, becoming a volatile markets, you open, let's say at day one, the market is within the conditions, you have very low volatility, but then for these assets, you have open positions and then the volatility kicks in. So what do you do? You exit, you might want to close these positions or you say like, I could just leave it running until the 90 days are uh, done or when the price drops below the moving average or maybe when the trade loses more than 10%. But for now, I'm going to keep it this way. There are different ways of approaching this. And now we can run the back test on each of these tickers, on each of the uh, assets. So we're using the uh, backtesting uh, package here. I'm providing the data frame and a for loop, the signal follower class, the initial cash and a bit of commission. So to make it a bit realistic, we're going to uh, take the uh, results, we're going to add these to a dictionary and we're going to append the curves, the equity curves into the curves list. So here we're going to build the portfolio just concatenating uh, all the results. And in this part, we can summarize our results. So here we can see that we have a return of 78%, a sharp ratio of 0.63. Remember that we've included commissions, a maximum drawdown of 8.9%. And this is what this strategy is all about, trading safely. So that's kind of an investment. We have a total of 1,954 trades, and that's over 10 years of data. So uh, if you divide this by 10, that's around 200 trades per year, which is not bad actually. But at the end, if you if you take a look at the results, that's around 7.8% on average per year, which might not seem much if you are looking for a high risk, fast paced strategy. But this strategy is all about safety. So you have a very small drawdown and that's the maximum drawdown. That's not even the average. It's the maximum drawdown during the 10 years period. We've got only 8.9%, including commissions. And now we can plot the equity curve. So that's the uh, total sum of the equity. That's the sum of all of these equities coming from the different assets. So some of the assets are just traded with one trade, like uh, buy and hold and so on. Very few trades, as you can see. Some of them are more continuous. So this green one seems to be doing well. It's very hard to distinguish here because we've included probably 40 assets, if I recap correctly. So this is the list of assets here. But the total, actually, the total curve is constantly increasing. You have those drawdown periods, of course, but overall it's increasing. And there is no overfitting here. We're not trying to fit anything. We didn't do any optimization. It's just the way we choose the assets to invest in. Now, some might say, uh, yes, you can buy and hold. This is kind of a buy and hold. It's simply buying and holding for a short term for 30, uh, for 90 days, for three months, depending on the volatility. This is all what it's about, just to, uh, to be on a safe side. Now, if you are curious, you can extend the list of tickers, simply bring as many symbols as you desire. Put them all in here, put a hundred ticker and restart the strategy over 10 years and check for yourself if this is something that's going to be a positive or rewarding. Again, remember, this is not a get rich quick approach because what we've got in returns is just 7.8% yearly basis. So that's per year, barely 10%. We're not even reaching 10%, but it can be pretty much automated. This is very simple to automate, put online on a web server and let it run through time. Now, just as a verification, I've left this cell here that will make this a data frame where we can see the returns per asset. It will allow us to check the results for each of the assets. We can check the returns over the 10 years. We can check the sharp ratio of these assets, the maximum drawdown percentage and the number of trades per asset and so on. Now, just so you know, for those who think that I've cherry picked these assets or these stocks, whatever, it's not the case. For example, Tesla is not the uh, best asset for these conditions. We probably never traded Tesla. Uh, it was only for five days in the basket of tradable assets. Nvidia the same, depending on the approach and the conditions we put, there are better choices. Amazon is one of them. Apple is one of them. 
but there are also other choices. And this will be it for this one. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know what you think about this strategy. And in any case, if you are trading, until our next one, trade safe and see you next time.